Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, you don't apologize to me. Do you always work on Christmas Eve, Carl? I volunteered. So then with families could go home early. It looked like you were wearing a wedding ring out in Los Angeles. I thought maybe you had a family. No, no family. You want to talk to me? Let's talk face to face. All right. I have my suite at the Stuyvesant Arms, room 3113. In the morning, I leave for Las Vegas for the weekend. You think you're going to get me again? You're not going to Vegas. You're not in the Stuyvesant Arms. You'd love for me to send out 20 agents Christmas Eve, to badge into your hotel, knock down the door so you can make fools out of us all. I'm really sorry if I made a fool out of you. I really am. Uh, no. No, listen, no, I no. really am. I you, you do not feel sorry for me. The truth is, I knew it was you. Now, maybe I didn't get the cuffs on you, but I knew. Oh, people only know what you tell them, Carl. Well, then tell me this, Barry Allen Secret Service. Huh? How did you know I wouldn't look in your wallet? <laughs> the same reason the Yankees always win. Nobody can keep their eyes off the pinstripes. The Yankees win because they have Mickey Mantle. No one ever bets on the uniform. <sighs> you sure about that, Carl? I'll tell you what I am sure of. You're gonna get caught. One way or another. It's a mathematical fact. It's, it's like Vegas. The house always wins. I'm sorry, but I, I have to go. Ah, you didn't call just to apologize, did you? <laughs> More than me. <laughs> you, you, you have no one else to call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, uh,